This week on Avalanche in San Diego. The Avalanche guys go to Corral Canyon off-roading area and will around the Sky Valley Road. Will we make it? That's for you to find out. Let's hear what my fellow AI has to write about Corral Canyon and its history. Corral Canyon OHV area is a popular off-road recreation destination in the Cleveland National Forest. The area offers over 50 miles of trails for motorcycles, ATVs, and 4x4 vehicles. The trails vary in difficulty from easy to challenging, and offer stunning views of the surrounding mountains and desert. Um. The history of Corral Canyon OHV area dates back to the early 1900s. The area was originally used by ranchers and farmers to graze their livestock. In the 1960s, the area began to be used for off-road recreation. The popularity of the area grew in the 1970s and 1980s, and by the 1990s, Corral Canyon OHV area was one of the most popular off-road destinations in Southern California. In recent years, there has been some controversy. Some people argue that the noise and pollution from off-road vehicles is damaging to the environment. Others argue that the area is a valuable resource for off-road recreation, and that it should be protected. The Cleveland National Forest is currently working to develop a management plan for Corral Canyon OHV area. The plan will address the concerns of both sides of the issue, and will strive to find a balance between recreation and conservation. Nuclear fusion. Bronco peak. Don't I mean, go, don't go. No, I'm, I'm just putting my nose in. I want to see. This is the Bronco peak. On rear drive. Bronco peak on rear drive. So, so this is how it looks. Um, I don't want to drive there, but I could if I wanted to. Maybe when we get a Jeep. In the meantime, Corral Canyon OHV area remains a popular destination for off-road enthusiasts. The area offers a variety of trails for all skill levels, and the scenery is stunning. If you are looking for a place to go off-road, Corral Canyon OHV area is a great option. Here are some tips for visiting Corral Canyon OHV area. Be sure to check the weather forecast before you go. The weather in the mountains can change quickly, so it's important to be prepared. Bring plenty of water and snacks. There are no stores or restaurants in the area, so you'll need to bring your own food and water. It's always a good idea to let someone know your plans before you go off-road. Be prepared for the terrain. The trails in Corral Canyon OHV area can be challenging, so be sure to have a vehicle that is up to the task. Respect the environment. Leave no trace of your visit. Pack out what you pack in, and don't damage the plants or animals. With a little planning, you can have a safe and enjoyable trip. Uh, it would be, it looks like fun, but... The area is home to a variety of plants and animals, including mountain lions, bobcats, mule deer, coyotes, gray foxes, ringtail cats, long-tail weasels, opossum, black-tail jackrabbits, desert cottontails, California ground squirrels, and a variety of plants. The plants in the area are a mix of chaparral, oak woodland, and pine forest. 
The chaparral vegetation is dominated by shrubs such as chamise, ceanothus, and manzanita. The oak woodland vegetation is dominated by trees such as live oak, canyon oak, and Engelman oak. The pine forest vegetation is dominated by trees no. such as ponderosa pine, jeffrey pine, and huge. white fern. Thank you for subscribing to the Avalanche History Channel. Well, uh, this gate is uh, the road to Marina, Lake Marina, but uh, if the gate is closed, There's Lake Marina. And the closed gate. Another black diamond, but this is for ATVs and motorcycles. Okay, what's one? I wonder if this is the Bronco Peak connector. So that's a Jeep trip.
At this point, GoPro ate the bushcraft and cooking section, and we returned to the trail near the sunset. Guys cooked cheeseburgers and had frozen waffles for dessert. And they liked it. Deep, deep, deep.